Hi! Today, you will see a short video presentation about Philippine popular culture entitled The American Regime. This is Charlie Men Adobo, a BSBA major in marketing management student, AME University. Americans aim to colonize the Philippines because they saw the country as a potential market for American products. The Philippines was also seen by the Americans as a new source of cheap raw material. They also found out that the Philippines is on a very strategic location to serve as its base to control the entire Pacific and other countries. The American role in the Philippines started with a military government under General Wesley Merritt, August 14, 1898, then was succeeded by General Elwell Otis, August 29, 1998 to 1900, and who was then succeeded by General Arthur MacArthur, May 5, 1900 to 1901. The Filipinos continued to resist, which made General MacArthur order the deportations of some Filipino politicians and leaders, revolutions to Guam for the reasons of supporting the guerrilla war. The deported Filipinos were Apolinario Mabini, Pablo Ocampo, Julian Girona, General Artemio Ricarte, Maximo Hison, Pio del Pilar, and Mariano Llanera. The military government was composed of the Supreme Court, where six members were Filipinos. It organized the provincial and municipal government and conducted the first local election in Baliwag, Bulacan. It also prepared the ground for a civil government and opened Manila and other ports for commerce. On July 4, 1901, the American civil government was established and William Howard Taft became the Governor General until December 23, 1903. The Filipino revolutionists continued to fight for the independence of the Philippines and their effort had been slowly granted. It started from the Jones Law of 1916, which was the first official and clear response to their call for independence. The Osrocks missions on December 1931 also ignited their hope. Sergio Osmeña and Manuel Rojas went to the United States and were able to secure a passage of an independence bill and this was the hair house cutting up. Manuel L. Quezon went to the United States also to try to secure another bill for independence and the results was the tidings McDuffie Act, which allowed for 18 years transitions under Philippines Commonwealth in preparing for granting of freedom. Finally, on July 4, 1946, the United States granted the Philippine independence. The American brought many developments to the Philippines. The Gabaldon Act of 1907, provided the allocations for the constructions of public schools in the Philippines. The Tamasites, American soldiers, were the first teachers for Filipino people during American regime. The young and intelligent Filipinos were granted government scholarships, thus they were called pensionados, and were sent to the United States to study in big colleges and universities and some of them became teachers and leaders of government. Philippine economy flourished, agriculture increased, there has been abundant chance for free trade with America. There were improvements of transportations and communications, there were better health services, the emancipation of women was strengthened, people exercised for freedom of religion, recreation, movies and theaters thank you for watching have a good day